Cirrhosis is a chronic condition, meaning it can last a long time. There is no cure for cirrhosis, and we want your liver to work as well as it can. So every day you need to make choices to protect your liver. We want you to have a good quality of life. Besides taking your medications and avoiding ordinary pain relievers like ibuprofen, how you eat is very important in helping your liver work as well as it can. A healthy liver breaks down foods into many usable parts. It makes fuel for your body from carbohydrates and fat. It makes proteins for building muscles and healing. And it stores and activates vitamins and minerals. The liver also breaks down waste products your body makes. When the liver is stressed or scarred from cirrhosis, it has to work harder to do these jobs. Making changes to your diet can really help your liver and the rest of your body work better. There are three main nutrition things to do for good liver health when you have cirrhosis. The first one is to follow a low salt or low sodium diet that's no more than 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day. This will help your liver work much better. Please view our low sodium diet video for details on how to follow this type of diet. It's an important part of the diet for cirrhosis. The second thing to do for good liver health is to eat enough protein throughout the day. Eating enough protein throughout the day helps your body clear waste products and helps with clearer thinking and less confusion. Small frequent sources of protein can help your body handle these waste products more easily. To get enough protein in your diet, you can eat animal sources of protein, such as milk, eggs, fresh cooked meat, and seafood. You can also get protein from vegetable sources like unsalted nuts, seeds, and soy products. These may be easier for your body to process. You may also use protein powders that are low in sodium to help get in enough protein. Skim milk powder is especially a good source of protein, and it can be added to foods like mashed potatoes and puddings. The third point is that you may need to limit the amount of fluids you drink or take in during the day. Eating less salt will make it easier to drink less fluids since you'll be less thirsty. Limiting fluids includes common fluids like water, juice, milk, coffee and tea, as well as foods that are liquid at room temperature, like ice cream, popsicles, and jello. Soups can also be a major source of fluid. They are high in sodium usually, so it might be best to avoid those altogether. Ask your medical team if you need to limit your fluids. Remember, by limiting sodium, you'll be less thirsty, and this really helps to limit your fluids. Finally, let's review a few general eating points to follow for cirrhosis. Eat smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. Turn three larger meals into six small meals spaced every two to four hours throughout the day. This is especially important if you have a fluid in your abdomen and find it hard to eat enough food at one time. Be careful not to overeat at breakfast so that you're able to eat a few hours later. Separate your liquids from your meals by about 30 minutes. This can help increase the amount of food that you can eat at your meal or snack. Sip on high calorie beverages between meals, such as liquid oral supplements. This helps get in more calories and protein. If you have to limit fluids, you may not be able to do this as much though. Always have a bedtime snack with protein and carbohydrate. For example, peanut butter and jelly sandwich would be a great snack, or milk and graham crackers. For more information, including low sodium diet menus, food lists for a low sodium diet, and how to season food without salt, check out our patient education handouts on this topic.